Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday we woke up to the sad news of the shooting of Asamburu MCA, Le Simpirol, by a suspected bandits. And uh, the incident is just happening barely two weeks after the bandits staged a shootout against police service in Samburu, whereby they killed one police officer. Again, in the same area, on 30th, bandits reportedly stormed a burial ceremony where they opened fire, causing fear and confusion among the mourners uh, during the, 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 the burial ceremony. Then they also ended up killing one person. The event was suspended as simple as that. But beside all this, before the death of uh, the MCA, he really appealed to William Ruto to deal with the issue of bandits in Samburu. And this was his message to the president. This morning we were trying to call the security personnel because there was an issue this morning of another killing. A, a second person is dying today when we are burying another one. Mr. President, you don't have to wait any further. You need to take an action. Don't suggest to us that you are less powerful than a bandit. Don't suggest to us that you are less armed than a bandit. Now, definitely from William Ruto's side, he had promised the people that he's going to end banditry activity in a the large rift valley because if you go to El Geyo Marraquet, you know, Keyo, you go to Samburu, you go to Baringo, there is huge problem. People do not have peace. Schools are closed. Children do not go to school. Residents are not assured of their security when they sleep. It is just by, you know, it is by favor. You just wake up and you find Joni Mefika na Ukosawa Asubui Mefika. You are not sure of your tomorrow in these areas. But this was the message from William Ruto appealing to the people that this is coming to an end. Askari waondoke. Kazi hiyo ya kukoroga amani kupiganisha wananchi bunduki left, right and center hiyo kazi tutaikomesha. Wawache hiyo kazi kwa hiari Na kama hawata wacha kwa hiari, wata wacha kwa lazima. Amen. It is not if, it is when they will stop. <laughs> they must. There are no two ways about it. Bile imesemwa, tunasikia uchungu sana. Na mimi nataka kusema hivi. Hakuna siku, simpiki kindiki simu. Na chukui, kweleza ile danger siku samburu. Hakuna siku na amekuja amejionea. Kwa hivyo ningesema hivi kwa serikali. Kindiki amekuja kupanga njama ya Wasamburu kumaliswa na bokoto chukue ati. Kwa sababu alikuja akaambia Wasamburu mwame kwa manyumba, mwame kwa machamba yao na wako na title, mtakuja kulindwa, sasa kulindwa ni kila siku maiti na maiti. Leo hii tukisika tukiweka nduki yetu. MCA ya hiyo area na ndio kawaida ni mtu ya peace tuko na maiti sita sahi ndani ya imoshiri ya siku tatu hata sahi tunangoja wengine leo ni MCS chief haina right hapa MC haina right na mwananchi haina right tuko wapi sasa mimi nataka kuambia nataka kuambia president Ruto umetusa umetuzia pokot kama umeamini umeamini samburu waiche tafadhali kuja maliza si safari moja kwa sababu pokot hata chukua ardhi sisi ndio tutaisha ndio pokot tutakua ardhi na hii ma sub location na division si mekiretiwa mkiwa op na kindiki ameka sign akijua hii ni bodi ya samburu kwa hivyo 
sisi tunasema mkuje mtumalize ile serikali umelete pale kuja rudisha rudisha umetuvunga mkono kuja rudisha hiyo serikali tukae bila nilikuwa tunakaa tumekusha na uchungu tunasikia ikiwa leaders wanakufa hivyo ikiwa raia anakufa hivyo nanyi atachunga kwa hivyo mimi naambia mimi nakwambia President Ruto Kindiki amekuja kwa micho wa Samburu wa Maliswe kama ni yeye unatuma hapa already ametoa much ametutoa ametutoa kwa arti yetu ndio tumaliswe na kama upati report sasa anza kupata tumemaliswa Now we are continuing this panel discussion but just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not yet subscribed please consider subscribing for the channel subscribers I must say thank you so much and again to all our viewers please Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, if the area MCA appealed to William Ruto, knowing that this is the man in charge of this country, the chief in command of the country, then what Ruto could do was only to issue threats and promise that is going to sort out the mess from there what happened next what we are seeing now is the death of the person who was speaking for the people in fact he was living a town back home with the family and the bandit just attacked him on the way that is how he lost his life he is in the news because he is a leader there are many people who have been dying in samburu because bandits have taken over control. I don't know Ruto is chief in command of what when part of this country has been taken over by bandits. Is he in competition with bandits? And is he confirming to the country that bandits have defeated him and now they are in charge of some areas of this country where he does not control? Inamaanisha bandit wamemshinda kwa nguvu, kwa uwezo, kwa akili, kwa kufikiria even in operation or what is going on. Because the only thing he did it was issuing threats. The MC really appealed to him that don't tell us, tell us that that these bandits have more power than you. They have better strategies than you. They are well armed than you. Definitely, these people have been left on their own. The current regime is not willing to sort out the mess. People are dying. Imagine some part in this country, going to school is a risk. Watoto kutoka katika hizo area. When would they have peace? and time to go and study so that they are on the same pace with other children in this country when will they be at the same level of study hakuna amani utapata wale wana siasa wana watoto wao hawasomi kule wako in good boarding schools elsewhere where there is peace lakini huku kumeachwa hivyo and there is a big problem here when you have a president whose only game we understand is to be on top of vehicle to campaign when do you think he can have time to think of sorting out the mess in samburu in turkana in baringo in elgeyo marakwet in keyo valley when will he sit down and strategize to stop this when you have a CS like Kitura Kendik, who is busy in politics, a man who just give empty threats, empty warning, when will bandits fear his word? When will bandits be smoked out? They don't work. Kazi yao ni kelele nyingi tu. It was a disaster replacing Matiangi with Kithure Kidiki. Kidiki did not fit in that shoes. 
We know how people like the current governor of Transoya, George Natembea, was operating in Rift Valley as the regional commander. And he became an enemy of many people, including people like Kiptumba Murkume, just because Natembea was sorting out the mess. He offered his advice to Ruto, but Ruto chose politics. He chose to listen to politicians. Now you can see the mess. What if he would have listened to the MCA? Angekufa. What wake wangekufa leo? Imagine bandits wanaenda kwa matanga. Matanga penya hata kuku wanapaka na chief na police. And they terrorize everyone in that funeral. Cause mayhem, confusion, fear. To an extent of even opening fire and claiming a life. Watu wameenda tu matanga. Hii mambo haifanyiki kwingine inafanyika Kenya in a country whereby a president can go to an extent of giving our police officers to Haiti. More than a thousand officers wanaenda Haiti as if there is peace here in Kenya. That tells you that for this regime what matters to them is money and that money is coming from US they can sacrifice anything. They don't care about your security in as much you fund this government. Everyone is a taxpayer. But he can openly take our police officers to Haiti, leaving our own people in Samburu, in El Gayo Marakwet, in Baringo, being terrorized by bandits. Ata katika shiria zetu, Nakatiba ya Kenya, police officers are only allowed to, you know, they are only allowed to be deployed within the borders of the country, the borders of Kenya. Man, report hapa Kenya. That's what the law says. Nakinu kiangale ata even in the police act, there's nowhere it's mentioning that they are allowed to be Deployed outside Kenya. They can't be deployed outside our borders. The only department you can try to do so is only Kenya Army. How they can be deployed outside our boundaries. But the current regime is deploying police officers which who are even not enough here. We have a shortage of officers. But they can deploy what we have to another nation far away from Africa. And leave our only people dying. Kwa nini hawa thousand officers awanga pele kwa Samburu to go and sort out the mess so they can bring peace and let children go to school and learn. Hatuanga patada MCA, hatuanga patada watu wake, sababu kungekuwa na amani ya kutosha kule lakini tunaona hawa wako na mpango wa kupeleka officers outside na kwingine that is that we have a regime that will never take care of you na sheria na constitution ya Kenya imepewa president uwezo na nguvu za kuongoza wa Kenya kulinda wa Kenya wote kwa madhara yoyote Ruto is telling us that he is no longer our president this can be confirmed with the incident we are seeing in Samburu and elsewhere in Rift Valley.